Dunedin Sustainability Program Coordinator here with Amanda Norton and Michael Kuras today. Um, we're here with the Dunedin Green Scene to discuss their transition from about 2,500 square feet of heavily irrigated lawn to 100% native Florida plants. Um, so I just want to start off, thank you Amanda for this transition. I know it was a, a big undertaking. What really initiated this process? Why did you want to transition to native plants? Well, I purchased the home in October and it just had zero curb repeal. Kind of wanted to go something that was more environmentally friendly and easily maintainable, but a look that gave my house curb appeal. As the landscape designer, what are the benefits of having native Florida plants in a part of your landscape? Well, one of the major advantages is uh, these plants are adapted to this area. Uh, they, they're natural to the area and consequently they require very little maintenance. Uh, they are not no maintenance, that's a myth, but they are much lower maintenance. They attract a great number of pollinators, moths, butterflies, all sorts of other wonderful things, including hummingbirds, for instance. Uh, in addition, they provide food for birds. Those are not just the local birds, but also migrating species, songbirds, and so on. I'd say the ones that uh, are very impactful, for instance, are the beautyberry and the firebush. Uh, they're the ones that provide kind of the most uh, visual impact, you might say, in the sense that they are very prolific in their flowering or, for instance, in their fruit production with the beautyberry. Uh, the firebush, uh, as an example, has a bright orange-red flower, you can see, and it flowers the majority of the year. Also here today with us is Craig Wilson, the city's arborist, and he's going to share some of his thoughts on this project. So what's important, I guess first and foremost with this project, is we did a, a substantial amount of removal of ex exotic invasive trees and plant species for that matter. And what that does is promote um, native plants to return back, which there further supports our ecosystem here. Native uh, birds, wildlife, and other insects that should be here um, will now have the habitat that's appropriate for it. Another important feature that I like is that the plant selection is appropriate for this area. It's drought tolerant, so we won't have to water the plants as much. But uh, what's often overlooked is the plant spacing. You know, all too, all too often we see plants planted too close together, whereas with this project you'll notice some space in between the plants and that allows them to grow to full maturity. So on this property we have some newly planted Dahoon hollies. You'll see a nice row of them. There's four here and they're really great for birds and other wildlife to take natural habitat and nesting in them. There's also, uh, they produce a fruit, a fruit that is very beneficial as well. well. Some of the things we did in order to reduce uh, the use of turf on this property is we covered it in the areas that weren't actually planted with pine straw or pine needles as they're sometimes called. In addition, we used a shell, which is collected locally, and it's washed to make sure there's no excess saline content. I'm also here today with our stormwater program coordinator, Whitney Marsh. Thank you, Natalie. So one of the things that helps when you have a Florida-friendly yard with our stormwater is you end up having less nutrients that are applied down to your lawn. You have less fertilizers, which results in less phosphorus and nitrogen runoff that goes to our waterways. So what that does for us is it helps to reduce the loadings that go into our waterways that lead downstream into St. Joseph Sound. And that also helps to prevent algae blooms that we can see here in the summertime months in Florida, especially the blue-green algaes that can be our toxic algaes that have been found here in Dunedin. On behalf of the Dunedin Green Scene Community Spotlight with Amanda, we just want to say thank you to all of her work, Michael's work, and everyone who came out today to really celebrate this transition to a native Florida landscape. If you want to learn more about Florida friendly landscaping, please contact myself, go on our city website under Dunedin Green Scene, or check out the UF IFAS extension as they have many great materials and resources for you. This is Natalie with Dunedin Green Scene.